Hey, what's going on internet? Josh Noel from Sunduck Film. In this video, we will be creating a double exposure effect inside of After Effects, and this is what we'll be creating. So it's pretty cool. We have just you know the fox and a little background inside the fox, and it is uh, uh, the background is moving back while the fox is moving forward. So we create a little bit of parallax. Um, and the background does get blurred out just a little by a little bit. So this project was inspired by a video hive uh, template. Um, uh, I found this little video right here. And the funny thing is, is that I did a uh, simple Google search and I found the same exact images that were used in this uh, template, but uh, that was really cool. So I might have the uh, project files for you guys to download uh, in, in the description, um, but I'm not sure yet because I'm not sure if these uh, images are uh, you know royalty free. So. Um, if it is, I will definitely have these images in the description or the project file in the description for you guys. But anyway, let's go ahead and get started. So I'm just going to create a new composition and I'll call it main and uh, I'll just do 1280 by 720, 24 frames per second. Um, and I really only need like five seconds, but I'll do 15 seconds and click OK. All right. And the first thing I'm going to do is import our Fox layer. So this is the uh, picture. And really what the first thing we need to do is mask out the Fox. So I'm going to the pen tool. And I'm probably gonna quickly just, you know, go through this as quick as I can. Um, and I'm probably uh, just gonna cut this out. So just go ahead and mask out uh, whatever you want to mask out. And yeah, I'll be right back. And now we have our mask complete for our fox. And it isn't 100% perfect. And it really shouldn't be, especially on this image since there's like fur all over the place. Um, but what, now what I'm gonna do is go to effect, uh, keying, extract. And I'm going to go to the white point and just lower that by a little bit. All right. And that will just kind of clean up the uh, places I was not perfect around. Um, but then we have this problem right here. Um, and some of our image goes away. So this might not work for every image you're doing. And you got to be careful, especially when you do video. Um, and if you are doing a video, you might just want to shoot it on a green screen or some background that you can easily, you know, take out in post. Uh, so this tutorial does work for photos and video. But anyway, to fix this problem, what I'll do is I'll just duplicate this layer, delete the mask, um, and also delete the effect. And then I'm going to go ahead and hide this layer. Um, and then I'm going to go to the pen tool and basically just create like a quick little mask, uh, you know, around the areas that are going to get cut out by the keying effect. You know, and it's really quick. So now we turn this back on. Now we have fixed that problem. So a before and after uh, chopped out of there. So now the box is completely keyed out of the image and it didn't take too long. So what we'll do now is select both these layers, uh, go up to uh, layer, pre-compose, and we'll call this, you know, fox layer. All right, so here's our fox layer. Let's go ahead and reposition this to where we want to put our fox. Let's scale it up just by a little bit. And let's see, let's put it over here. And let's continue to scale. Cool. All right. So now let's go ahead and do our double exposure. And we'll go ahead and select our layer that we want to uh, create our double exposure for. And then go to track mat. And if you don't see track mat, go to toggle switches. And then under track mat, go to alpha mat fox layer or whatever layer you're using. And then there we have it. And then let's go ahead and scale this down by a little bit so we can have some detail and let's move it over. Let me do a little additional scale. All right, so that isn't too bad. So I wanna add some detail back into the fox. So what I can do is duplicate the fox layer and turn it back on. And then what I'll do is go to the rectangle tool up here and I'm gonna draw out a wide mask just like this. And that should be good. And then hit F on my keyboard for feather and we'll create a little bit of a feather like that. And then we'll go ahead and drop the opacity down just by a little bit. And to make this a little bit, to make this blend a little bit better. Oh, so to make this, so, so I, wanna, I wanna add, so I wanna add a quick touch to this. So I'm gonna go up to effect, color correction, tint, and then I wanna make this like 80%. And I just added that to our tree layer. So now I'll quickly just drop in our background and I'll scale that down. And then let me just add a quick few effects to this. Go to effect, color correction, curves. And then go up to color correction, uh, brightness and contrast. Let's lower the contrast. 
and let's increase the brightness. And then let's go to color correction, tint. And let's lower that just by a little bit. Let's go to like the red channel up here. Let's lower that. Go to the blue channel. Raise that up by a little bit. Maybe add a little bit more brightness. All right, so we just made our background a little bit more appealing. And it looks pretty good. So let's have some animation to this thing. So what I'll do is hit S on my keyboard, uh, click the stopwatch for scale, and then let's move ahead to five seconds. And let's go ahead and push this back a little bit. And let me just lower this. There we go. And let's not push, have the scale go so fast. So let's do like 47. So it's going from 54% scale to 47% scale. And that's pretty cool. All right. So now, instead of animating both these layers, I'll create a new null object by going up to layer, new null object. And I will parent both the fox layers to the null object. And I'll hit S on my keyboard on the null object, create the, click the stopwatch. And let's move forward in time to uh, five seconds. And let's scale up our fox. And let's go back to the front here, go to the pan behind tool. And let's move the anchor point of the null object to like in the middle. So now the fox is scaling in place. And then uh, to add just a little bit more touch to this, uh, let's go up to uh, select the uh, tree layer, go to effect, blur, Gaussian blur. And I'll click the stopwatch for blur and move to, you know, five seconds and maybe type in like two. So now, you know, as the background gets pushed away, it's going to kind of go out of focus a little bit. And that's, you know, just a cool little touch. And then also to add some, let's say we wanted to add some more detail at the top here as, you know, we move forward in time. What we can do is go to the fox layer with the mask on it, hit M on our keyboard, actually hit F on our keyboard to bring up the feather, uh, click the stopwatch, and let's move forward to five seconds. And all we have to do is decrease the feather, and then basically the fox is going to get some more detail back into uh, this layer and, you know, makes things pop out a little bit more. So now we're basically uh, done, but we could add some quick text. We could be like uh, double exposure, you know, and make this light. And then I like actually doing these, doing these little quick texts in my tutorials because I can just show you quickly how easy it is to add uh, some text effects that look pretty good. Make that one bold. And just to animate these really quick, what I can do is go to the uh, effects and presets, go to animation presets, and then go to under text, blurs, and then what I'll do is I'll select both of these layers and apply the evaporate um, uh, preset to both of these layers. And then I'll select both of these layers here, hit U on our keyboard, I will select all the keyframes here, uh, go to keyframe assistant, time reverse keyframes, and I will drag both of these keyframes in to make the animation shorter. Select all the keyframes again. Let's go to like two seconds. All right. And then let's offset uh, the sun duct tutorial keyframes off to like right here. And now we have this blur, you know, effect coming in. And it saves a lot of time by just using, you know, animation presets. So, so another cool tutorial, I think. If you have any questions, please drop a comment. Or if you want to just talk about your life, uh, definitely like to hear about that. Um, and if this video has helped you, please drop a like. It helps me out tremendously. And if you haven't already, please consider subscribing for more awesome tutorials. So guys, thank you so much for watching and hopefully I'll see you guys soon. Oh, and don't forget to check out my social media links in the description.